We talked a lot about the pandemic's toll on mental health, especially for young people. And there is new evidence tonight showing how severe this problem got. A new study published in a journal called Academic Emergency Medicine found a dramatic increase in children and adolescents who went to the emergency room during the pandemic and actually needed to be admitted for mental health issues. Now, the increase was with severe conditions, including bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, substance use disorders. There was such high demand that there were often too many patients and not enough psychiatric beds. That resulted in wait times of 12 hours or longer for nearly 20% of the kids in the ER in 2022. You can see there only 7% waited that long before the pandemic. Dr. Steve Turkovich is president of Oshai Children's Hospital and joins me now live for our Ask the Pediatrician series. Great to have you back. Thank you. So I want to ask you about this and you know this obviously was sort of looking back right mm -hmm. at the data from during the pandemic but toward the end of the pandemic and even to now it seems this trend is continuing with young girls. Um, what should yeah. we know about the, the state of this mental health crisis? Yeah you're right it is a mental health crisis we're seeing it in both boys and girls and this study does show that girls seem to be more affected. Uh, the study also showed that three out of four teenagers at, uh, experienced an adverse child event which mm -hmm. is a divorce uh, bullying, a uh, loss of a parent or violence during the pandemic. And we know that the more ACEs or adverse child events that a child has, the higher the risk for mental health. Um, so the social isolation that occurred during the pandemic combined with all of those uh, events really upped the risk for all teenagers. And now we see even more so in girls. Last half hour, we reported on this nationwide shortage with Adderall. Um, I was surprised to see apparently this new analysis shows one in 10 people. So this is kids and adults, mm -hmm. but who uses Adderall or a generic brand of sort of the same type of medicine is having trouble right now accessing it because of this shortage. Um, we've gotten several questions about this, and the most common one is if I can't get Adderall, especially for my kids, and they are prescribed for mm -hmm. it, what do I do? Yeah, this is a, a, a difficult challenge. There's three things you can do. Number one, talk to your pharmacist. Many times pharmacies can call their, their counterparts across the city or across the region to see if they have it in, in stock. Number two, talk to your pediatrician because you could either change to a different type of Adderall, a different formulation, uh, like an extended release or a different medication. And the third thing is non-medication things like um, cognitive behavioral therapies, uh, structure in your life, and other things like that that can potentially help you work through your ADHD as we navigate this challenging shortage. Great advice as always. A couple of big topics there. Dr. Steve Turkovich, president of Oshai Children's Hospital. Thank you as always. Thank Good you. To see you.